How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here, and in this video we're going to be covering a super quick and easy method available on newer versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11, which you can quickly and easily apply to any system to potentially fix any issue you're experiencing on your PC. Now unfortunately this will not fix any potential hardware failures you might be experiencing, whether that be CPU, GPU, RAM, motherboard, power supply, but if you're experiencing low performance, errors, crashing, system restarts, or just want to start completely fresh with your system quickly, easily, and conveniently, this video is going to be covering the relatively new Windows feature of cloud restoring. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. This will allow you to do a full restoration of Windows, completely back to stock, where you can either keep your files or start completely from scratch. Without having to re-download Windows and install it to your system again, it can be done completely from the cloud on the system in which you want to restore. And because this will restore Windows back to its default or stock configuration alongside updating Windows, this will fix practically any Windows-related issue. If your hardware is fine and isn't experiencing any failures, this will fix your performance issues you're experiencing. So before we do anything in this guide, I first of all highly recommend that you make any backup of very important data on your system. Whether that be simple settings such as mouse sensitivity, config files for games, all the way up to important documents, anything you are not 100% comfortable potentially being lost on your system, please back this up. The best way I'd recommend doing this is use some sort of USB drive or SSD to back up those files too, remove it from the PC, and then continue on. Of course, if you're looking to do a complete reinstallation and you're not really bothered about keeping any files, that's completely fine. So once you're ready to proceed, all we need to do is go into Windows 10 or Windows 11, navigate to the bottom left hand side, then search for restore. You'll then have the option for reset this PC. Click this button, then navigate down to reset this PC, then select reset PC. Once you do this, you'll then be given two options. Remove everything is going to remove absolutely everything. All of your installed programs, files, desktop, downloads, completely everything. Keep my files will remove all of your applications, reset all of your default settings, but will keep your core files on your system, such as your desktop files, downloads, documents, pictures, videos. But again, if there's anything in particular that you definitely do not want this to remove, please do back up that file or folder first, select which option best matches your desired outcome. I'm going to be going with keep my files. You'll then be given two options. You'll have the local reinstall. This will use the current core build of Windows you have installed on your PC currently. When selecting the cloud download option, you will be utilizing Windows servers to download the latest version of Windows and making sure that all of the files are not damaged and are directly from source. Thankfully, unlike before, we no longer have to have multiple USB devices. We don't have to create our own Windows installations. Everything is handled the exact PC you're wanting to reset. I would highly recommend going with cloud download to get the best results possible. You will be required to have an internet connection to the system in which you are using when using the cloud download feature, and this will also use around four gigabytes of data. If you want to change any additional settings, navigate to the change settings option, and if you wish to proceed with these settings on screen, select next. After a few short moments, you'll then be given a rundown of what you're about to do. The information on your screen could be slightly different depending on which options you selected, but for me, I'm going to be resetting this PC, which will change all of the settings back to their defaults. I'll be keeping my personal files. It will then begin to download and reinstall Windows, remove all applications and programs. I can have a look at what applications are going to be removed from this process by navigating to this list. Please do double check that you are happy with all of these applications to be removed from your system before proceeding. If you are, select back, then go down to reset. Once the Windows process stops, you'll more than likely be booted into this initial Windows loading screen, where you'll then be notified that the PC will then be resetting itself at the bottom. You will have to wait for this to complete as well. Do not turn off the PC throughout this process and just wait for this to be completed. Once you boot into this installation page, don't be alarmed if the resolution and the display starts to flicker and change often as automatic driver updates are being applied. Once the system has completely finished resetting and reinstalling Windows, if you chose to go with the option for keep my files, you'll be brought back into the same login screen where you'll need to use the the same Windows credentials and login password if you had one set to then further log in. If you decided to go with the option to remove everything, you may be brought into the Windows account creation section where you'll need to follow all of the on-screen steps necessary to set up a Windows account to get to the desktop. And there we go, I've been booted back into the desktop with the brand new clean Windows installation. Head over to my desktop, I can still see that all of my files are still here, but if I navigate over to add or remove programs, if I scroll down I can see that basically all of the applications that were installed to my system have been completely removed and only the default ones 
programs have been installed, such as the graphics card driver and the monitor. That is in line with all of the settings in which I set up earlier on, and it's completed the process absolutely flawlessly. From start to finish, it took about 25 minutes for my system, but depending on the speed of your network connection, the PC, and how many files you've chosen to remove or not remove, will change how slow or fast that process is for you. One of the first things I would recommend that you do before doing absolutely anything, take yourself down to the Windows button, search for Update, then select Check for Updates. Go to the top to the Check for Updates button. This will then go through and find any Microsoft Defender, Windows, and other driver updates across the system that may be outstanding, which you should definitely get through and do now. Go through all of the necessary updates, restart the system. Once all updates are completed, at that point, I would then recommend getting any drives or cloud software in which you had installed, putting that back on your system, and copying over any files in which you chose to back up in the places where they were originally, so you can find them easily and conveniently. You are then free to set up your brand new Windows installation in any way you wish to do so. And if you're looking for any guidance on how to do that, whether you're looking for performance, power efficiency, or the best gaming performance, or looking to debloat and customize the operating system, I would highly recommend checking out the videos linked in the description down below. And if you're looking for further optimizations, check out one of the two videos on screen now for more optimizations for your system, and I'll see you over there.